Sodomy is one of the most misleading words in the English language. Uh, to think that the story of Sodom and Gomorrah uh, is about homosexuality because it involves homosexual rape is to think that a story of an axe murder is about an axe. Uh, homosexuality is just the instrument of what the Sodomites are doing. The real offense, what they're really doing, of course, is rape. Uh, and not, not only that, but rape of strangers. Sodom is a story about hospitality, which was one of the most central values uh, in the ancient Near East and occurs over and over and over again. There are dozens of biblical citations uh, about the importance of hospitality uh, and how evil the Sodomites were for not only being inhospitable, but for trying to commit an act of violence against their guests. That's what this story is about. We don't have to guess as to the meaning of the story of Sodom because other texts in the Bible tell us directly directly. Uh, Ezekiel, for example, states specifically what the sin of Sodom was, inhospi uh, being inhospitable. Uh, again, in the New Testament, again, several times uh, the story of Sodom is talked about, always in the context of violations of hospitality rules. What Sodom is really about is, is an offense done against guests. The nature of that offense doesn't matter so much, as much as the violation of hospitality itself. Ironically, it's those people who are being cruel and unkind and inhospitable to strangers today who are the true sodomites. My name is Jay Michelson and uh, my book is called God vs. Gay, The Religious Case for Equality.